Hello everyone, it's Jason. Have you ever written an email, hit send, and then realized after you sent it that you should have either corrected something in that email, or maybe you wrote it and you were a little angry and you really probably shouldn't have hit send? Well, I have done that. And so what I have done in the past, and some of you may have, is you can set it up so there's a delay on every email once you hit send before it actually is truly sent. The problem with that, up until today, I have always been frustrated because when you need an email to go out immediately, you have to sit there and wait for it to go through the whole process, whatever the few minute delay is that you set up before it's actually sent. Well, I kind of figured out a way today um, on how to get around that or how to force an email to go out. Now, this is not something new, but it's new to me, and so I thought maybe you guys might enjoy it. All right, so here's what you do as I've created this test account. Uh, don't email me here because I'll never get it. This is just purely for test. All right, so I've got this at test account. I want to set up the delay, so I'm sure there's different ways to do this, but here's the way that I do it. I'm going to come up here to rules. Now, if you click create rule, that doesn't work here. You need to actually go to manage rules and alerts go down here or go to new rule now once you do that you're going to get this and so what i want to do is i want to come down here and say apply rule on messages i send not receive but on what i send okay and i'm going to say if you want everything if you have multiple accounts set up for your outlook um, you can click through a specified account and then click on it and select the account that you want the delay on. Now, if you want your delay on everything, you don't have to put through the specified account. But let's say I have two and I only want to delay on the one account. This is how you're going to set it up for the, only the one account. All right. And then I'm going to say I want to defer delivery by, and then I can select how long I want. I can do a minute. I'm just going to say delay by five minutes. Um, I've done three minutes, five minutes. Either one seems okay. Now that I know how to fix it uh, or how to force one through, I probably am going to stick with five minutes. So you click OK. You select Next. Now, what I like to do here is I like to set it up because if I'm just simply accepting a meeting, uh, accepting a meeting change, whatever, I really do, that doesn't need to be delayed. Okay, I just want that to actually go out. So what I want to do is I want to find the one that says, uh, where are you? Right here. Except if it is, let's see, I'm just going to say continue. I'm not quite sure what that error was. Um, but, and it's not important for this video. So uh, I'm, you want to select except if it is a meeting invite, uh, invitation, or update. All right, then click Next. Uh, you don't really need to run this rule on messages already in inbox because it really is going to have no impact. So just simply turn on the rule and hit finish. Uh, you can hit apply if you want or just OK, either one. All right, so now what happens is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a new mail, um, new email. Now I have another junk email address that I'm going to send this to. So, uh, cool. Again, don't email me here. I will never get it. This is just a junk test email account. Um, so I'm going to say this is a test email. All right. Uh, test. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click send. It's going to come and it's going to say sent. Now, if we look down here, it's going to be sitting here in my outbox. Okay. Now, it just sits there and it's going to be there for five minutes. At the end of five minutes, then it'll send. Now, I can come up here and click Send Receive, and I can hit Send and Receive all folders. It'll go out and it'll do its thing. However, you'll notice when it's done, the email's still there. It's because that email's delayed, and so it's not going to send it. Even if you hit Send and Receive, if you open it and hit Send, um, uh, it, it still doesn't work. Um, it, it's not going to go anywhere. So here's how you get around that. If you have an email you want to force through right now, you don't want the delay, you want it to just go through. You go into the outbox, you open it up. 
right? You're going to come up here to options. You're going to come over here to delay delivery. You click on that. Now, I tried unchecking this, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So what I do is I come over here, and it's currently set to uh, deliver at 1222. Um, it's currently 1218 when I'm doing this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, and I usually just go to 12. You can go up one more and say, do not deliver before 1130. Well, now it's after 1130, so I'm going to click close. Now I'm going to come up here and click send. And now watch. Okay, you'll notice it sends, and it is immediately gone. So that is the way to immediately send or force an email that's in delay to automatically just send. Now that I know that, I'm going to use this extensively. I love this option, um, but now I fix the one problem I have with it so that I can just force an email out quickly. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye.